Calendly is one of the most used appointment setting software for people to make appointments whether with their prospect or with their clients. So in this video today, I will be sharing with you how you can put or embed the Calendly calendar inside your ClickFunnels page. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Ken and I help businesses to grow using digital marketing. If you are new to this channel, this channel talks about digital marketing and entrepreneurship. So if you are interested in these two kinds of topics, do consider subscribing to this channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my future video. And with that, let me go to the computer and show you how you can link or embed Calendly into your ClickFunnels page. Hi, so I will be showing you four ways you can put the link of Calendly into click funnels so i've prepared this is the calendly page and also i prepared this uh, simple thank you page or simple page in click funnels if you do not have a click funnels account yet do consider getting it as it is for me one of the easiest to use landing page builder and one of the most stable one as well i see a lot of people that uh, use other builders that at the end come back to click funnels uh, because of the simplicity of it so if you are looking for something that you can launch very quickly and also not less of the headache of all the design stuff you can consider getting click funnels at the link in the description box below all right so now back to this now you can see uh, this i have already prepared uh, you can click on the link okay this is not link click on, the, click on the button to schedule your appointment below the other one is schedule your appointment below or click on the link to schedule your appointment below so what is the difference i'll show you in a while so i'll, I'll just proceed with this and i'll show i'll, click, I'll show you the button first right so uh if you want to create button in ClickFunnels, it's very easy. All you have to do is just scroll over, click on the plus icon, add new elements, and just go to button. Just find buttons. Right? So now you have a button here. Uh, let me just save first, and I'll just preview. So you can see the difference before and after. Right? Now you look at it, there's nothing. Nothing here, there's no Calendly link, nothing at all. So when you click here, nothing happens. Okay. So now one way you can add a Calendly link is when you see here, uh, for example, this is the... This is the, for example, I want to do a 15 minute consult one on one. Um, so you can see it here, right? So, how you want to put the calendar? Inside there. Inside here, right? So, one way is you can get, copy the link, right? Uh, can you come here and then you see the click to sign up or just change it to click to schedule? Um, let's go to settings. And then you set action. Go to website. You can decide whether to open in the same video or open in new tab window. I usually prefer to open a new tab so it don't disturb my site when they are looking at my site. You can see the site, so it's up to you how you want it. You want people to straight away escape to your site, it's also possible, right? So you just have to press back and you save. So now, what happened, right? You just have to refresh this and then just click click to schedule. When you click on it, you appear the calendar where you can continue to do your schedule and things like that, right? So yeah, so that's one way you can do it. Now, the another way you can do it. But you see the tag page is there, right? Another way you can do it is just click on the link, right? Instead of a button, you have a link. So what you do, before that, let me just show you what other ways you can do it. You just have to go to your meeting, click on this uh, gear icon, that is with an arrow down, click on it. You see, add to website, right? You click add to website, there's three different methods, inline embedded, pop-up widget or pop-up text. Let me show you the pop-up text first. This is the I think this depends on, on how you want to use it. If you use it for blog, maybe you can do it. But if you use it for landing page, I don't really recommend. But at least you should know what is it like. You click on it, continue, and you got this embed code. Just copy the code. Just click add new element, HTML. Then just click here. Open code editor, put the code, close and save. Next, all you have to do, just go to here and refresh. Next, you'll see schedule time with me here. Can you see the button here, right? All you have to do is just click on this and then it will pop up and there you can find your calendar. You can just schedule appointment here. So this is simple, it's easier. So as you can see, uh, let me see what's written here. Pop-up text, you say add a text link to your site that launches currently as a pop-up. I think this is quite good to use if you're using like WordPress where it's block, uh, where you can edit the paragraph to put in the link there for click funnels you are not able to do that yeah this this is a bit difficult to, uh, to do so you, you need html i uh, need to use a, a, a separate code for it so i would suggest if you want to do this um maybe don't do it here <laughs> right use it in other place or maybe use it in in, in a blog and things like that 
Because uh, I don't think many people use this uh, when they do landing page. Right? Next, what you need to do, you go here, you see there's another two more methods. So I'm going to show you the pop up widget part. Right? So pop up widget will have a pop up right at the bottom right of the screen. That's why you see my camera is at the top right this time. But anyway, let's just go continue. Same thing, copy the code. Go to here. This time the code is not installed in the page. It is installed in the page, but it's in separately, right? You go to tracking code, install it in the header code. Right? Then you just click X and save. Then next all you need to do is just go to the same page, refresh. Refresh is control R for computer. And then you see there is a new small little thing here which is schedule time with me. Again, it's very good, for example, if you put it into your hero website, which is just show your information, there's no call to action, you can put it there. So this is quite good to use, again, depending on your use case scenario. So you click on here, again, same thing as when you click on the button, it will pop up the, the calendar that you can immediately schedule your appointment with. This is quite good to use. I, I think it will be nicer to have this uh, instead of using the inline. So yeah, consider using this. Next is what you usually see in the pages. Like for example, people opt in, then you want straight away people to uh, book a schedule, schedule a call with you or schedule a thing with you with your prospect or maybe your customer. So next thing what you can do is do Calendly. Back, there's this called inline embedded. So let's click on it. Continue. And just again, copy code. So now you go back to the thank you page. You see this schedule appointment below. That means straight away uh, when you open the page, you can see the place to schedule. Click plus on the add new element, HTML. Click on it. Open code editor. Put your code here. Then save. Now you refresh. And there you see the appointment you can schedule directly in the page itself. Um, this looks nicer where you can have, for example, like some copywriting here. And then after that, you just say schedule appointment below so you can schedule here. So this do looks either way nicer. So it depends on how you want to do it. So uh, yeah, it depends on how you want to do it. Right? So I've shown you a few methods. One, these three methods. One is just to copy the link. This link as well, you can just give the link directly to anyone. Then people can schedule directly without going to a page. Now it depends on how you want to use it. If you want people to see your page, then you put it into your page, right? So you can copy the link here. One method. Then the other three method, which is to do pop-up tags pop-up widget or inline embedded which is all shown here so the the link will put in the button here uh, but this thing will push it into another page and second thing is click on the link to schedule the third which i show you which is this pop-up is called pop-up yeah this pop-up widget and the third is used to embed the calendar directly into the page yep i hope this is useful thank you yep that's how easily you can link between calendly and click funnels and I think it's useful, especially when you want to send a nice page. You can send Calendly straight by having it into a page with ClickFunnels with maybe some copywriting or maybe a video will maybe increase the conversion of people making appointment with you, especially when you are trying to make appointment with new prospects, right? So I think this will be useful for you. And with that, I hope this is helpful. If you have any other questions about ClickFunnels, feel free to put in the comment section below. I'll try to help out as much as I can. And I appreciate you if you are new to this channel and you're not subscribed yet. Do subscribe, you know, I talk about digital marketing entrepreneurship. Subscribe, turn on notification bell so you don't miss any of my future video. Yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel and I see you in my next video. Goodbye.